In today's lesson, we will learn about South Florida's marine ecosystem. Today's vocabulary words are sediment, biodiversity, ecotourism, estuaries, overfishing. Okay, ecological superstars. Today, we are diving into our coral reefs. Now, the Florida reef track is the third largest on earth. It shelters thousands upon thousands of a lot of our marine species, and it helps protect coastal cities and coastal ecosystems from storm surge and wave energy. Next, we have our seagrass beds or our seagrass meadows. Like our reef system, it provides a refuge, a place of foraging, of food for a lot of our larger and smaller organisms, from our manatees to our sea turtles to a couple of our bait fish that we see and fish with on a daily basis. And just like our reefs, they also provide a sense of protection in the form of sediment collection, building islands, helping in retention of soil and of sand. Now, don't forget about one of my favorites, which are mangroves. They not only provide a refuge, but also provide a filtration unit because they're roots that act as walking legs or may appear as though as they're walking from their propules, from their prop and drop roots. They provide that shelter for a lot of our oysters, a lot of our inverts, which in turn filter out a lot of our pollution or a lot of our pollutants into the water, keeping our waterways nice and clean and forming mangrove forest or a mangrove swamp. So that mangrove swamp is not only a pollution filter, but again, it provides refuge for a lot of our smaller animals or our larger animals. And then also it helps with the retention of sand, of sediments, and it helps in the prevention of storm surge or the less energy that is provided by storm surge. So our mangroves are a true example of a resilient, a biodiverse ecosystem. And finally, our estuaries, a place that is a melting pot of fresh water and salt water, like the Biscayne Bay. Like the Biscayne Bay, it is jam-packed with biodiversity, with life itself, and it plays a huge role in our water systems. So these habitats are not just good for ecological services, but also for economic services, which we'll find out in our next video, talking about ecotourism. All right, discussion time. What would happen to Florida's economy if these marine ecosystems disappeared? What can individuals do to help protect these underwater habitats? Now, the top three takeaways from today. South Florida's marine ecosystems support life, jobs, and coastal protection. Two, coral reefs, seagrass beds, mangroves, and estuaries all are all connected. Three, these ecosystems face serious threats, but we can take action to help. Career Connections, marine biologist, environmental policy specialist, eco-tour guide. This program is designed by Context of a Generation, funded by the Miami Foundation. A very special thank you to our partners at Wool Studios.